Hello, we are going to talk about how to writing today. How to writing is when you write um, steps or explanations for how to do something. And so um, some things that are really important when we do how to writing is to have really clear sequencing steps. So making sure that the order is correct. Um, another thing is to use a lot of details because if you don't do use a lot of details, whoever's following your steps may not get the ending product that you want them to, or whatever it is that you're trying to explain how to do. So um, a couple of examples. Um, in this book, they are teaching us how to make a bird feeder. And you notice they have numbers and steps, and they tell you specifically what to do. This author of the how-to even showed you little pictures. So they tried to give you details of how to make this bird feeder out of a milk carton. Okay. Many of you have probably also seen recipes and you've maybe followed a recipe, maybe with um, a parent or family member, or maybe even you've ventured to do your own very own um, recipe and try to make something on your own. Well, um, when you look at a recipe, it also has to be very specific. It has to give you measurements or how much of whatever the ingredients are. And then it also gives you step by step. It has to include things like if you're using the oven, what degrees you're going to get the oven ready for. It tells you the type of pan or um, tray you may need, bowl you may need. Um, and then it also tells you exactly what to do with all the ingredients so that you can bake or cook successfully. So what I have done is I have challenged Ava and Reese to create a how-to writing for anything they would like to see if I can follow their how-to and make it correctly. So, the first thing that we have, I'm gonna use Reese's first. So the first one that we're going to follow today is how to draw a turtle. And Reese did, I will, I will say, Reese did ask if she could use little pictures to show, and I told her no, that I just wanted her to explain it in words. I think she thought that it would be a little bit easier to explain mm -hmm. if she could use pictures, but I told her no, that I just wanted her to think about how to explain this using picture or using words and not pictures. So I am going to follow step by step and I am going to try and draw this on the board. So, and I will show you what she has written here, okay? And then I'm gonna read it step by step as I go. So how to draw a turtle. Number one, she says, first draw a short stubby tail. So a short stubby tail. I know that my dog has a short stubby tail. So I'm gonna just draw a short stubby tail. Then number two says, then from the starting of the tail, draw a hump and a line under the hump for the shell. So the starting of the tail, I guess this is the end of the tail, so I guess this is the starting of the tail, and she says, draw a hump and a line underneath it. So draw a hump and a line under the hump. So I guess that's the line under the hump for the shell. Number three says, next draw lines inside the shell. So I'm gonna draw lines. Okay, there's some lines inside the shell, okay? Number four, now you will draw kind of like a speech bubble for the head. So I guess if this is the tail, maybe the head is here and kind of like a speech bubble. When I think of a speech bubble, I think about like this and then like that, like the, you know, the part that points towards, 
<laughs> towards the person, towards the, you know, if somebody has a speech bubble, it's like, you know, the person's <laughs> here and he's like saying this. No. Doesn't that look like a speech bubble? Yeah, I think but so. like, no. Okay. It's, it's, I'm just following the steps. Okay, and yeah. maybe I can even pull you a little bit closer for this. Okay, so no, there's no, my turtle. The other way. Oh, well, I, you didn't say. If you wanted it the other way, you had to use details and be really specific. Now, ah. this is the last step, number five. Last step, draw four legs. Do I draw them up here? Ow. Do I draw them on, on the head or whatever <laughs> this is? Now, I'm going to use my knowledge, my background knowledge of being a turtle and and knowing that I okay I know the legs go under the shells so I'm gonna draw some legs and I'm guessing that a turtle has four legs it does say draw four legs so that's my that's my turtle what do you guys think do you think it turned out well let's get you a little bit closer there's my turtle based on Reese's how to draw a turtle <laughs> now what I will have her do is maybe go back and think about what I did and see how she can revise her how-to writing to make it even more accurate and more specific with details so that somebody following her steps may have a better looking turtle than my own. But well done, Reese. I would say it looks pretty close to a turtle. Yeah, okay, what's now, that? Now, I don't know. It was the speech bubble. Whoops, they're going to no, call it. Yeah, it yeah. Not right now. Okay, let's, let's go on. Now we get to do Ava's, and I need to back you up and make sure that you can see down here. Okay, so what we are doing today for Ava's is she has asked me to make she did how to make a ham and cheese sandwich. Now, we didn't have ham, so we're substituting ch uh, turkey. And I figured that's okay. I can just, every time it says ham, I'm gonna, gonna use turkey instead. So, things that I need um, that are in her how-to is a bread, um, turkey or ham, and then the cheese. And I read through the how-to already so that I would make sure I had everything. Um, there wasn't a list of what you'll need, but that's okay. Um, but I do know she asked me to cut so I have our cheese knife. And then I have a plate so that I don't get um, crumbs all over the place. And here's what hers looks like. Okay, and notice she does have um, some numbered things. She started with number one, okay, up here. But then she just included sentence. So Reese's, Reese's used, and there's different ways to do this. Reese's used numbers all the way down the edges and, and made the steps in that way. And Ava's was more just kind of a paragraph form, okay? So here is what it says. So the first sentence says, get the bread and grab two pieces of bread. So I'm gonna get the bread. No. And I'm going to grab two pieces of bread. Okay, so here are two pieces. I'm going to set it on my plate, set the bread to the side. Okay, the next says, then grab the two pieces of ham and cut the cheese. Okay, so I'm going to grab two pieces of ham or two pieces of turkey here. Okay, I have two in it. Okay, so let's see. All right, here's one. Here's two. Okay, so here's two pieces of ham or turkey. I'm just going to set that down on my plate because the neck, it also says grab the two pieces of ham and cut the cheese. Okay, so here's my cheese. Okay, and I'm going to use the lid of this. And it tells me to cut the cheese. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna cut the cheese. Okay, I just decided to cut it right in half there. Okay, so I cut the cheese. Okay, now I'm gonna set that down, see what the next is. Then put one piece of bread down. Okay, so I've got one piece of bread down on my plate. Okay. Um, then get the two pieces of ham and cheese and set it on the bread. So, here we go. 
I've got my, I'm gonna set, hold my plate. I've got my one piece of bread down. It says, then get the two pieces of ham and cheese and set it on the bread. So I'm gonna set my, that ham on there and that ham on there and then my cheese. I'm gonna set that on there. Last, put the last piece of bread on. So I'm gonna put my last piece of bread on and yeah. that's my last step. So now I have a ham and cheese or turkey and cheese sandwich. So what do you think? Do you think the directions were great? Yeah. You do, okay. I said ham, like at the end I said set it on. Set it on the bread, I did, I set it right on the bread. Then get the two pieces of ham and cheese. Yeah, I did. I put the two pieces of ham and cheese <laughs> right there. And now I've got my sandwich. So here is what we're learning today. How to's. It is really important to be specific and to use details so that when somebody is following your how to, they do it exactly the way that you want them to. Otherwise, they may end up with a sandwich like this, or a turtle like I drew before. They did pretty good, I would say, but maybe they're missing a few details. So here's the challenge. Go and write a how-to yourself. Give it to a family member and see if your family member can do it the way that you want to, the way that you want them to, exactly the way that you want them to. If they can't, then revise and edit it and add some details to get them to do it exactly the way you want them to. All right, enjoy and have fun. We'll see you next time.